my name's Mark. Uh, I'm the lead architect for Credit uh, FX and Global Emerging Markets. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. Most people are probably familiar with the GPU uh, by a card that they put in their PC for accelerating their graphics, whether that's for dragging a window around or whether it's for running games. And the reason JP Morgan is interested in GPUs is because there's a similarity between what you do on a graphics screen to what we do in our analytics. Now, on a graphics screen, you'll have lots of pixels, uh, millions of pixels, and you'll be doing the same thing to all of them. You'll be trying to see whether they're hidden behind something, whether they need to have a certain type of light applied to them, but you do the same thing to all of those pixels. And when we're pricing up a trade, we do a similar type of thing. If we're running a Monte Carlo simulation, we generate lots of different paths uh, in which something's different, and there'll be millions of those, and we do the same thing on all of those paths. So there's a lot of similarity between the graphics and between what we do. So GPUs are able to help us do that work much faster. So there's two key business users of GPUs. The first one is a trader or a salesperson who might need to price up some deal or trade. The other use case is overnight. We run a lot of jobs overnight to calculate risk. GPUs have been around for a long time. However, in banking, they are relatively cutting edge. JP Morgan are probably one of the first and, and certainly are one of the biggest GPU deployments on the street. Competitive conf advantage can take many forms. It can be being able to price or uh, offer a particularly exotic type of product, which takes a long time to compute. It can be using GPUs because they're cheaper, therefore our overheads are lower, therefore we can offer a better price as well. You simply could not do business and meet those requirements without the type of technologically advanced systems that we that we have